Hi there folks, welcome, 14th of December, just here in the studio, just a few little few little balls of clay here and I had, I don't know, had an idea I wanted to make something, a certain kind of tea ball. Um, so, yeah, welcome. Um, yeah, it's about six o'clock in the evening. 14th of December, Friday the 14th. Yeah, um, yeah, big hello to all those down in Richmond, Virginia at the Viz Arts Center. Jeff, Vic, all the people who are in our workshop. We had a little workshop down there uh, this last weekend, which went very well. Big hello to Marilyn and Don and Robert and Doris and Marianne and Deb and and so on. All the folks that were down there. We in fact got we had about 12 inches of snow. So it was touch and go whether I was going to get out of there. Anyway, yeah. These are a pound, pound of clay. What I'm doing is I'm sort of wanting to make some tea bowls, but I just wanted to make them slightly different. I had an idea of making them a little bit taller than your usual tea bowls. typically are. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah, nice slow wheel speed when you're making T-bowls, don't go too fast. Get a bit more, yeah. You get a bit more feeling into the into the into the pot, yeah. Yeah. So yesterday I was uh, I was at an Amish school giving a pottery lesson. Twelve o'clock in the morning or afternoon, I should say. Yesterday. So that was exciting. Got all prepared, got all my little wheel in the car, took my generator because I don't have electricity. Of course. <laughs> got there, you know, I thought I got I got everything ready and everything prepared and I was like, you know, relaxing a bit. And then uh, went to pick up my helper who was gonna go with me. And um, skedaddled off, you know, to the to the school. And then of course when I was unpacking the car I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't brought clay. <laughs> so that was a bit of an embarrassment. So I had to, we unloaded and I had to jump in the car and rush back to the house here and get the clay. It was pretty, it was pretty, pretty neat, you know, I mean, this is like a one school, one, sorry, a one room school room with all ages in the class with one teacher who teaches all subjects. <laughs> yeah. So I've thrown this, as you see, what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this, it's like a, for butter, given to me by Richard. Out there in Washington State. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack this with, with this guy.
just because just because I can Yeah, there he is. He looks a bit. He looks a bit bent out of shape, I know. But surprising with these guys, how quickly they come back into into line, you know. All right, so that's like that. So now what I'm going to do is. You go down the bottom a bit. I'm just going to bulge him out a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Expand him, you see. Dee, 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 dee. There he is. More at the bottom there. Take the camera off, shall we have a look at him? A bit closer up. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, that's what he looks like so far. Dee, dee, dee. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, these kids were delightful. I mean, you know, there was. They all. I said, yeah, you better all come a bit closer, I think, because you're all like, you know, sitting at their desks, you know, with their ink wells, you know. <laughs> I think you better all come a bit closer. There's something in the next minute, they're all like, <laughs> there on top of me. Ah, yeah, distance, I need some distance. Give me some space. <laughs> so it's going to stick this off down there like that. These will be trimmed, of course. Get leather your rims. It's important to leather because if you don't leather, some people say, somebody said to me on this last workshop, Simon, I mean, is there any reason why I can't use my sponge on, on the lip, on the rim? Well, yes, you really don't want to use a sponge because the sponge just draws out all of the grog to the surface, you know. So you end up with all the sandy particles of the clay right on the lip, which is just where you don't want it. Okay, dee dee dee. Yes, so cut him off. Yes. Yeah, it went actually really well, the, the little demo. I had my little wheel, I had a generator outside, a cable running all the way out through the door, and then I had my tripod, my camera tripod, sort of, and then a couple of uh, like LED, LED lights that, that plugged into the so I'm grabbing him at the bottom like that, you see. Plugged into the, the power cable arrangement I had. And um, so I had plenty of light, because sometimes in these Amish places they don't have much light, you know, it's a bit dim. And I can't see what I'm doing. And they can't see what I'm doing, so that's no good. So yeah, I thought this time I'm gonna, I'll take my lights, you see. Yeah, it was great fun. And then I threw I threw a couple of mugs and um, a bowl and a little vase thing. You know, it's lim lim limited time, so. And um, 
And then they said, uh, Mr. Leach, would, would you like us to sing you a song? And I said, well, yeah, that'd be great. So I said, you know, maybe we just, we'll get the, uh, get the stuff put away a bit, you know, back in the car. So, I, you know, they helped me, we loaded the stuff, took it out. And then and then I came back in and uh, sat, they sat me down in a chair and they all went up the front and um, and, and then the, the teacher sort of regimented them and um, and they all started to sing oh my gosh no musical instruments of course so it was a little bit Yes, painful is the word to listen. It was a little bit painful to listen to. But anyway, yeah, it was I appreciated the gesture. Yeah, it was very nice. Okay, so this is a kind of tea bowl. Sort of a little bit taller maybe. Yep. Yeah. So if you're going to do any kind of like pattern, paddled pattern on the outside, or if you plan to engrave a pot or, or carve it or anything, you don't want to have a load of throwing rings. I'm not against throwing rings. I think they can they can be quite nice in their place, you know. But it, it all depends what you're what you're planning. So what I, what I do is I clean clean that off a bit. See? Okay, let's bring the camera in while I do this smackaroo. So you can... Well, I'll just zoom it in a bit. And then you get a better view. Okay. Right. So, number one important thing is with a wooden paddle, you wet it. Simon, why do you wet it? The reason you wet it is because if you don't wet it, the wood is very absorbent, okay? And as soon as it, you smack it onto here, the clay just sticks, clings, embeds itself into the paddle. You don't want that. You want the clay, the, the impression to be left, and we don't want to have any clay left stuck onto the paddle, okay? So that's why we do it. Because if it's already wet, then it won't absorb you see so I take my hand and I turn it around like that you see you see the cross section if I look at the camera like this can you see the cross section of my hand like that as opposed to like that is it's sort of like it's it, 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 it's cupped isn't it like that whereas like that it's more sort of convex so I want to put that in there like that so I'm now going to start hitting this the side of this okay You need the hand there to give you something to hit against, you see, to offer some resistance to the paddle. Because if you don't, you won't leave any impression. You can go over it a few times just to get it, if you think you've missed a, a bit where it's not quite leaving enough of an impression. Okay, so there it, there it, there it, that's what it looks like right now. Okay, I know it looks a bit bent out of shape, but what we're going to do is, with a couple of fingers on the inside and my finger on the outside, just gently, make sure you have enough little water there. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, so I've trued up the, the top bit. Right, what we're going to do now is...
with a finger on the top I'm going to go down into the base and I'm just going to just very gently bring my hand up the wall of the pot on the inside you see and that will smooth out the uh, any undulations any irregularities that are too All right, and now with throwing stick down there, just putting that throwing stick in because I can afford to do that because I'm going to be trimming it, you see. Okay. Like that. Leather that rim nicely. Not too much downward pressure, just lay it over. Nice and easy, easy peasy, right. Da, de, de, de. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, cut him off. All right, we'll bring the camera back. Yep. So that area at the base there where I use my throwing stick the thing you want to be careful about of course is that you don't see it allows me to pick it up with my fingers just to that clean where I cleaned it off you see you see see that right I'll put him down there yeah that second one was a little bit bigger than the first one It's often the way, you know, when you're making a batch or doing anything, your first one quite often is not as big as, is a, is, is a little bit small. You, you sort of, you're getting the feel of the clay and what you can sort of pull out of it. And very often the first one you, you don't get. as much as subsequent ones. We really want to make tea bowls, I don't think, too thin because Yeah, when you pick them when you pick them up the tea can be rather hot, you know, and you feel it rather through the wall wall of the No, like a little bit of an outward flare just at the top. I think it sort of get get it sort of fits into the one's mouth better. You know the the lip here. What's that point there? Just a detail. All right, this one I don't think I'm gonna. I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to stick it down there like that. And leather the guy. Yep. Yeah, go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Uh, I've got more pots up there than what I've had in a while. I've been 
It's selling a lot more as well. Just good news. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for watching. Um, 2019 workshop dates are up there on the website. Please go and have a look if you fancy coming on a workshop. Uh, they are filling up, actually. In fact, June 1st and 2nd is full. And slowly, slowly they're filling up, which is great. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Dee, dee, dee. Dee, dee, dee.